Hey, this is Laura, um, all you Make Silver Jewelry members out there. I just wanted to say hi, and um, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, and I kind of wanted to share with you a little bit about what's kind of going on around here. Uh, yesterday, I actually had a fellow artist contact me and let me know that she had become aware of another artist who was using my pictures to sell her work on her website and on her Facebook page. And... Um, so as soon as she told me that, of course, I did my research and figured out exactly, tried to figure out exactly what had happened and what was going on. And um, in fact, she was. She was using actually dozens of my work, of my images that I'd taken of pieces that I've created and using them to sell product from her website and future custom orders for her customers. So, um, you know, uh, several different emotions went through my my body at that time and I was upset and frustrated and mad and also sad for her and just kind of I, I didn't know how to fix it I didn't know what to do and so I thought about for a little while and kind of tried to cool my blood for a little while and uh, then I contacted this person and said hey you know these are my images you know they are I know they are um, stop stop what you're doing because you know, it's illegal, it's not nice, it's it's just something, it's rude to do to someone. And um, so, long story short, uh, we found out that she had actually been using several images from several other artists and compiling them together to claim that that was her work on and her jewelry from her website. So, um, I contacted all the other artists that I've could figure out whose work they were and uh, let them know and then each of us contacted this lady and said stop what you're doing this is illegal you cannot do this and um, you know have some respect <laughs> have some respect some self-respect and respect for others and so by the end of the night she'd actually taken everything down um, at least the p the pictures that we found out were ours and others that we knew there are still other pictures on there, and I don't know, maybe there's someone else's, maybe there's hers, I have no idea. But anyway, hopefully she'll grow a little bit of integrity and um, just take pictures of her own work instead of mooching off of someone else and, I mean, literally stealing others' intellectual property. And, um, you know, creative licensing, That's uh, it's a terrible thing to copyright someone, but it does happen, apparently, in this universe that we call art and creativity and people steal and people do mean evil things and so I just kind of wanted to share that with you and give you a positive note that artists can come together and work together to solve a problem and help each other out and uh, the lady that contacted me that first initially let me know what was going on I'm so appreciative to her and I'm not going to name her by name but she has a shop very similar to kind of what I do, and the other artists that were featured on this lady's website also kind of do, do similar work that we all do. And so, it, to me, it was a really beautiful thing because we came together not as competitors, because we're actually, you know, we're selling a lot of things that are similar and are in the same realm, the same genre of jewelry. But we came together instead of, we weren't competing against each other, we weren't button heads, we weren't doing any of that. We came together out of respect and out of integrity for each other and love for each other as artists. Um, we came together and we solved the problem. And so that, it really warmed my heart. By the end of the night, I, I mean, I was so frustrated throughout the whole day yesterday trying to figure this out and get it solved. And, um, and I know, well, I feel like if it had just been me, I might not have been able to get it done. I might not have been able to get this lady to shut it down and, you know, get that stuff, get my stuff off of her, off of her website. So I, I was just so appreciative to the other artists that came together. And I really think we kind of did it as a team. And a lot of times when you're, um, if you're working in a private studio, you're working all by yourself, you're selling your stuff all by yourself, you're making everything all on your own. I mean, it does, it's a very lonely thing sometimes. And so I really want to stress the importance of getting together with other artists, even if it's, I mean, if you can do it in person and work together, great, you know, and then go sell your stuff separately or whatever you want to do, that's great. But I mean, even if on the very basic level of maybe joining a Facebook group of other artists who kind of work similar things that you do, um, or if you sell on Etsy, you can join a group on Etsy. 
and just kind of have some camaraderie, have some some kind of group, I guess group therapy or whatever you want to say, just so you can get your frustrations out with other artists and you can talk with other people who are going through the same things that you are. And then situations like what happened yesterday with my work, with my images, um, you know, have you'll have like a bond with other people and other artists that do what you do and maybe you can help each other out when something like that comes up. So I just really want to stress the importance of even though you may be working all on your own, it feels totally on your own. You feel like it, you know, it is your own business. You're doing everything all on your own. You're the one woman show or the one man show. Um, still, it, it really is important to get together as a community and um, just come together with other artists who are doing maybe similar to what you're doing or just at least in the same realm of doing art. I mean, other artists understand what other artists go through, I think. And um, so that kind of combats that feeling of loneliness and, and then can help out if a situation like like what happened to me yesterday happens to you. You know, maybe you'll get some help and maybe someone will give you a heads up or, or maybe you can be that person. You notice one of your competitors' pictures on someone else's shop or website or something. You can let them know and say, hey, this is what's going on. I respect you as an artist and I want you to do well. I want you to succeed. So, you know, hey, this is what's going on. So um, I just really want to encourage you today to do that and to um, to just be open to other people and and just, you know, just get together with other people. And it, it may surprise you what can come out of it. So anyway, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will catch you next time.